what is your bad point mostly aside from actually technically your good point was something of a bad point but yeah in the in the literal <laughs> sense in the literal sense sure sure uh yeah so i mean this is this is super relevant because we brought lugia on and so i, I wanted to actually kind of kind of ask because you you have more experience with uh, cool. with him than than anybody uh, is that i'll just say like big is having a lot of problems and the finger one finger i want to point is is at Cersen. i i think Cersen is having Tons of difficulty right now uh, getting into his game. And when I looked at the DreamHack open uh, November game uh, series or like just the stats on it and the Blast Fall Finals, he is constantly like one of the most flash players on CT size. And it, in general, at the at DreamHack open, he was the most flash per round player. <clears throat> and at the Blast Fall Finals, he was the third most flash per round player. And so I actually went to his, I went into some of the demos. I looked at like how he lost to Fnatic and, and to FaZe. And yeah, he's just like, I mean, I wouldn't say it's like he's doing, ex actually, yeah, he's doing a lot of the same stuff he did last year. Like there's a, there's a lot of uh, repetitive plays. And I think that now everybody knows what he likes to do to the point where it's really easy to anti-strat him in particular on big. I think, I actually think Gate is doing, is doing better than I expected. But I think that Cersen right now, if he can level up to what he did last year, Big can contend for for top seven again, top five. But until he does, I think they're kind of doomed to to be a top, you know, 15, 20 team. I think to be to be fair, Big was top one or rank ranked yeah. one just because of Tapson and Cersen. I think. Not just because of them. I mean obviously all the three three other players, including the coach, had a lot of impact in that, but I think Cersen was Top three all uh, last mm -hmm. year. I think it was ranked seven or something on HTTP. He was TV. ranked tenth. He was ranked tenth. Oh yeah, ranked really tenth. Yeah, something yeah. like that. And I think Topson is just, from my opinion, one of the best team leaders in the world, just from what I know. Um, and I agree with you. I think that he has a lot of confidence issues. And what I what I tried also to tell him uh, when I was coaching them. You were one of the best operas in the world. So what's going to happen? Most of the teams who try to copy you, look, what is Houston doing correct? Something here, he has to do something correct. So he puts uh, puts these numbers that consistently. So what are the teams doing? They're, they're comp um, copying all of his stuff. They're looking how they play and they punish him. What becomes after? It's the meta. This is the meta mm -hmm. how the op plays. And he defined some of the meta for ops also himself. And I think that in general, most of the teams are way 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 more aware now uh, against the orbs and also i think a big issue is also the grenade dropping you have much much more freedom now using a lot of e equipment for yourself to check angles or to clear corners because in the end you need two guys to have uh, set flashes for the execute and you can always just drop them so it doesn't matter now if i'm the first <clears throat> i don't have to have in my head oh if you play this execute i have to keep one flash i can just use it now and just fucking check uh, check corners for myself and I think in general it's a bit harder for Opas, but I think for him it's a thing of lack of confidence. I think also I don't think that he plays the game enough, mm -hmm. but um, I don't know. This is a topic that <clears throat> I think every Counter-Strike player or every team uh, has an issue with. How much Counter-Strike can you play or should you play? Some people say, sure. okay, you should play more. Some people <clears throat> say, I need to play less or I'm <clears throat> overplayed. So... I don't know. I think for him in general, it's just confidence issues and not only necessarily his confidence, also the confidence in his team or not in his team, but the team in itself. I think they they need a little bit more time, craft the system pro uh, properly together. And I think that he will bounce back. I actually think generally think that he will bounce back. He's I just think inconsistent. It... I think that he, he, sorry, Duncan, he has games where he shows what his potential is, but way, way, way too to few of those games. Mm -hmm. That's a good segue point because basically my problem is this. I've said this before. Here's the issue. If I look like from like, uh, essentially if I take the sports angle, I look who big is as an organization, what kind of resources they have, how much money do they have, what talent pool can they recruit from? Obviously you have to speak German right now. Actually, Sirison is basically the best player you could get into big right now. There's no better player. There's no one else available. They can't get any of the other names that we would list if we started listing better orpers. So in that context, it's obviously perfectly fine for him to be in the team. He's one of the best players in the team. And also, I 
I'll always say this. People don't get it. Even at the moment when they're not at their best, big technically, if you know all the things I was referring to a minute ago, are mad overperforming. Like, they have no business being in mixing it up with the... Like, you know, when people go like, ah, oh, look, Big's playing Na'Vi, like, they're going to get destroyed. Like, they shouldn't even be in the same fucking tournament as Na'Vi. Like, they don't have the kind of money that teams do, like, fucking... That's, like, 20th place in the world right now. So that's actually... They're already doing fine. But the issue is this. If you want to compare in an absolute sense and take out all the context of the team and all the rest of it, I've always thought Seriously was a bit of an overrated player because it's like you say there, Laguia. He's just an inconsistent player. Yeah, he'll have a map and then it'll look amazing. It'll be like, wow, it's one of the best orpers in the world. And then he'll have a map that's just average. And it's like he's not the best player even on big in that particular performance. Because I, I think that like you said it before. Last year, the reason they were amazing, there's three real reasons. One is like Tabson as an IGL. And by the way, even used to frag back then was doing a pretty good yeah. job. And then Zantaris was obviously amazing to a certain level online. And then Sirison was like the other star player, right? Those two players and then the rest doing like the role playing or whatever in the squad that made the team actually have enough firepower they could go toe to toe with most squads in the world one of the problems is not only is there no Zantares now so it's just Sirison essentially but Sirison himself doesn't look as good mate he looks like he's just dropped down a little bit of a level could be what you're saying which is when you're an underdog you know no one's really looking out for you whereas like especially now with no Zantares by the way if I'm the coach coaching against big in a tournament where I know I'm going to play them in a week I'm putting most of my practice into what I can do to shut Sirison down make the game harder for him annoy him him, just push him off his position because why wouldn't I if I do that I've basically won the game against Big so yeah, yeah. So my problem is this I have a very high standard especially for AWPers this is the key thing if you're an AWPer and you want to be considered like a true star you have to basically be able to almost carry the game yourself sometimes you know yes. and to me Simpson's a good player but like if Big's doing badly he's not going to like 1v9 the whole game not often enough yeah I agree oh. Like one observation I had when watching back the demos is that it's very frequent that when I compare him to other oppers, Sirson will just kind of like, at, when he gets the op on that first gun round or second gun round, he'll just run into the angle and try to take that first shot as fast as humanly possible. And you'll notice that a lot of oppers in the scene don't necessarily do that because they know if they just sprint to into an angle, the other team knows the flash timing to flash them yes. off that angle. And so, like, Simple, Shiro, like, even Jame, you know, they'll kind of hesitate. They'll do, like, a little hezzy before they actually make that peak because they're almost playing anti-flash for themselves. And it's like, when I watch Sirson, sometimes he kind of is like, he almost tries to bunny hop into the angle sometimes just to try to beat the timing. But it's like, that's just that's just not how it's played anymore because they know you're going to do that. They Like, you're not going to actually gain that much time consistently. Like, your bunny hops are just not that that consistent in CSGO. And so, it's it's kind of like... It feels like sometimes he's just running his head into a wall in terms yes. of the timings on things. So just like if if I just had like one phrase of advice for him, just like just peak three seconds later than you think you should in a lot of a lot of times because he'll just get he'll just get flashed off and then he just can't even fight at all. The thing is also you have to like let's try to go in into his mind and into his mindset. Last year you were top seven, okay, ranked seven or ranked ten, whatever he was, one of the best oppers in the world. You destroyed. He basically destroyed. He yeah. actually played very, very good Counter Strike, I think. And now his team uh, and his team won. Okay, his team was not ranked one. Sure. It was a lot of props to him. Uh, or it was a lot on on him that uh, that they made uh, rank one. But now they're losing. What does it mean, maybe for him in his head? Fuck! I don't perform. I don't show the numbers that I did before. I don't make the opening frags that I did back then. I don't close the rounds as I did back then. So it's also going into his head, and he's playing mind games in his own own head. So it's it's a it's very hard, I think, for him to um, get out of this. But I think the more time the team gets, the better the team gets. I think the um, the better he will come back. And also, I want to. I, I think I always take Kiaba as an example because. When Kiaba joined Astralis, I think he's the player who had uh, who had reached or who was on the highest peak ever. Like he was performing, in my opinion, absolutely insane. But once he had uh, once he once his peak stopped, once the his momentum was gone, he drastically drastically um, his um, how do you say performance dropped. Yes. And this is slowly what I see kind of with Sirson. He back then when he joined big, first of all, you joined the best German team. You're very motivated. You get to, you're excited. You you get this, you spark another fire in, uh, in you, you know? Sure. And this, this <coughs> fire is slowly burnt out. It's burning still. It's still there. And it's now on him to make it again a big, bigger flame. We'll see. I think time will tell. I think the better the team plays, because also in general, Big's Counter-Strike is always based on the whole team. And 
Well, we'll see. Want to see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content? Well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.